All right, uh, this was sent into the channel for review from uh, MakeBlock. Uh, they have a bunch of STEM uh, types of products for education, uh, are called STEAM, STEAM Education. Um, Education Alliance Finland 2019 certified, huh? ages 10 and up. So it's a robot. Um, I reviewed a similar type of thing like the Crobot from uh, Elecro. Um, this one is uh, uh, different. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, so they have several models. You can go to their website. They have several models and types of things. Uh, they have a programmable environment, which is the uh, drag and drop uh, flowchart type of programming thing, which, you know, I know somebody who teaches STEM and um, he, he uses that also so kids don't get hung up on syntax. A lot of times uh, you can kind of burn kids out on programming because it's always a syntax error, always a syntax error. And so th there's no syntax in these guys, you just drag it. So you get the concepts around, you get the system design, the idea of loops and variables, and just the ideas of programming is, is valuable here. Um, and then you actually get to see something happen in the real world instead of just being virtual, you know, creating something on a, on a screen that you just look at or numbers. Um, you actually get a, a, a something that moves around. So I think that excites kids too. Very, very typical. It's got a line finder sensor. It's got a, a, a ultra, uh, uh, what are those things? Uh, ultrasonic uh, collision avoidance and things like that. Supposedly you can build this in three different ways. Um, so it says uh, three, yeah, three shapes, code the robot. I believe it's Bluetooth, and so you can use your phone or tablet. You don't need to have a wire connected to program it. Um, learn coding through games. Uh, yeah, okay. So um, let's take a look inside. Uh, here are the various versions this, this kit will build. A land raider, a nervous bird, or a dashing raptor. Um, and so let's see here. Looks like we get some. Looks like we get some tires. Uh, looks like we get. Oh, it's aluminum. Okay, so aluminum aluminum extrusion. So it's not plastic. Actual aluminum parts. This looks like it's the main the main doohickey. Um, looks like things go together with uh, RJ11. Cables. Get this off. Um, you have some RJ11 cables here. The one through five, six through ten. Uh, USB power reset, something like that. Okay. So, um, I don't know what platform they use. Maybe we can tear it open a little bit later. It looks like um, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. All right. So let's uh, let's take out parts and uh, we'll see if we can build something. Okay, so I'm going to be building the uh, the nervous bird. Has a whole bunch of uh, pictures here to put it together. So uh, let me uh, let me build. Here here are some motors. We we'll need two motors. Looks like we need two cables. I guess which are these guys? Lots of uh, aluminum parts. We can find the right one here. Looks like we need this one. Uh, okay. Looks like we do this and put this over here like this. And we need some of these. think this is a whole bunch of stuff here. Okay, I'm gonna need these.
Okay, another tool. We get a wrench. Uh, the wrench doesn't really work well. <laughs> uh, this one doesn't fit. And this one fits, but it's going to be hard to, hard to use. Tight quarters. All right, I can make it work. Okay, I can make it work. Let's tighten them up first. All right. Uh, wheels, we need wheels. Those the wheels are these big guys here. Let's see. And we'll put the tires on the wheels. to uh, attach the wheels with some screws. We need to find some M two and a half by 12. Is that these guys here? These little guys look, these guys look about right. Uh, use their tool. It feels nice in the hand. And let's see if we can. There we go. Okay, now I need a battery compartment. All right, and we need some place to put our loose items. Okay, now we need some short screws, eight millimeter, eight, eight millimeter, eight millimeter, uh, M4 by eight, I guess that's these here. The other side of this tool is a hex. Okay. Which way does the cord go? It does not show. It does not show which way the cord goes. That's unfortunate. That's a fail. You should update your drawing to show which way the cord goes. Okay, well, this thing, this thing will end up being on like this, and the power is on that side, so I say we put this this way. Okay. Thank you. 
All right, now we need to find one, two, three, four, five, six batteries. Oh my goodness, <laughs> six batteries. Uh, they didn't make it rechargeable, huh? Oh well, let me go find six batteries. Okay, so here's my experience. Um, I have the machine uh, all built. Um, there is a QR code to scan and uh, it's here in the book. This QR code does not work. All right, it doesn't work. So I went to the Apple App Store and downloaded uh, Make Block program. So you get a Make Block app. If you open up Make Block, it says uh, connect to the device. And the um, batteries, even though I'm measuring six point one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm measuring six, six point seven volts out of this thing, but it won't power it up for whatever reason. If I put in a, a, a power with a USB cable, I'm, I'm getting lights at least. Okay, okay, great. So then I go to my app and I say connect, and it does connect. And uh, normally you would come here, and then you would say, do you want to play? Do you want to code? Do you want to build? You say, well, I want to play. Uh, and it says, which, what do you have? And I said, well, I'm a nervous bird. Uh, it says, nervous bird, it says, great. And it's giving me some real-time data. So the, uh, you can see the graph here changes with the ultrasonic. Okay, that's fine. Brightness, if I cover it up, it goes, it goes down, it goes up if I uncover it. So the, there's a light sensor somewhere that's working and this is working. But it says self-balancing, and if I push self-balancing, there's n there's no nothing there. It won't it won't do it. All right, I was able to get the robot to work. Let me see if I can uh, demo it here. Let's see here. There we go. So it's a uh, self-balancing robot. I've always liked self-balancing robots. I always thought they were kind of cool. Um, so uh, I flashed new firmware in it. The uh, support team at, uh, at the company gave me instructions to uh, flash new firmware into the, uh, into the device. And yeah, it seems to work. So there you go. A self-balancing robot. Lots of fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you have to make sure it's... Uh, it's not going to crash into anything like it is now. Oh well. Ah, there you go. It can't be up against anything. I've got a, uh, I've got a wire here in the way. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, 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 little guy, little guy. Careful, careful. Calm down, calm down. Okay, calm down, calm down. There you go. Oh, calm down, calm down. There you go. Whoa, off screen. There you go. Whoa, <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> okay, let's let oh, let's turn him off. Um, so, I mean, it's um, it's a good, a very very good introductory. I, the build quality is good. I think it may be good good in the classroom environment, um, and maybe for the right kid, uh, it's it's appropriate. Uh, it certainly was fun to build. Um, you're not going to learn electronics or anything, uh, and if you go a step further into just building it, making it do something, which is what I did, it does have uh, the ability to a actually create your own programs uh, and and try things out. So uh, you could, you know, stop building a robot and build a, you know, build a dog feeder or something, right, or <laughs> do some do something different with it. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right, uh, that was my uh, review of the MakeBot uh, robot. I'll put a link down below of this particular model that I, uh, that I did, but they have other models as well, so you might check out their website.